Welcome to another video by Lane Creations, Log Analysis Made Easy. This is a request by uh, a follower. They put the comments down below and I've decided to uh, put this video out for them. They asked, how do you upgrade a Splunk Universal Forwarder? We're going to assume Linux, but it's all the same process. I'm going to tell you what it is and I'm going to demo it. General principle, what you're going to do is you're going to download the newest version of the Universal Forwarder you want to upgrade to. You will then stop the universal forwarder that is being that is currently running and then you will run the upgrade that would be whether you run the msi whether you um if it's linux you're going to like for example if you drop the tar you're going to unload the uh, up, unpack the new tar file if it's a debian or an rpm you follow the same upgrade that you would do with uh with any other package so we're going to use the uh the tar so what we're going to do, we're going to come into my Splunk instance, and I'm going to do op Splunk bin Splunk dash dash version. I'm running 9.2. If I go look at what the current version is, current version is 9.2.1. So it's not a major change. I don't need. To, I can just go straight upgrade. If you were an eight and you want to go to nine two one, you're gonna. There is documentation on the upgrade path. Most likely, you would have to go from eight to nine dot zero, and then from nine dot zero to nine two one. Um, but I'm not making any major changes. If you were on seven, then you'd have to go to eight, and then to nine, and then to nine two one. Um, anyway, so that's kind of the way the upgrades go. Big gotcha here. I've done this before. Make sure you match up the version that you're downloading. Um, I don't have an ARM. I'm running a 64-bit. And you'll notice even the file formats are a different pass. So this is a tar RPM deb. This is deb tar RPM. So make sure you grab the right one. I said I'm going to do a 64-bit. I'm going to use the tar. So I'm just going to get this copy w git. Click here. Now it's saved. And then I can just come in here. And I'm going to go to home. And we'll paste that downloads and now I'm going to make sure that I stop Splunk hit the stop command once Splunk is stopped I'm just going to tar minus xvf Splunk 9.2.1 I'm going to download that file and I'm going to go minus c to the op directory put it in the same directory where it was installed. And if I do that, it's going to untar the file right on top of the old one. I do that. It's all set. We're good to go. And now all I have to do is just restart Splunk. Bin Splunk start. I'll get the EULA agreement all over again. I say yes. Do I want to perform migration upgrades without pre previewing them? I'm good. I don't need to know what the changes are. Hopefully, you've read the documentation. You know what you're doing when you upgrade. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say yes, and off it goes. I'm gonna get some little errors here, but that's because I'm running as root. It doesn't make any difference. It still all runs fine. We can see that by doing bin splunk dash dash version. And we are now up to 921. Because it just unpacks over the old directory, it does not change anything in the apps directory. Those will all stay the same. If you've hooked it to a universal for I mean into a deployment server or you're having it uh, forward its logs, it those settings are all in Etsy system local or however you've got them configured, and they're not going to uh, get overwritten. So all your configurations and stuff will stay the same. It's just going to upgrade the universal forwarder. Anyway, it should be relatively simple. Um, if you have any questions, put, uh, put the comments down below. Join my Discord. I hope this was helpful. I hope this helps you move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja. Uh, on the, if you are enjoying what you're seeing here, please subscribe to this channel. And even more, if you want to support me, become a member. There are a lot of perks to members that are not available to everyone else. You get all of my videos as soon as they're created. You don't have to wait for them to be released. You also, I have a whole uh, library of training 
videos. We have hour-long videos on Splunk administration, on how to do queries, on how to build dashboards, and that those are all free and available to my uh, Lame Brain Trust uh, members. And so if you like what you're seeing here and you want to help support me, that is a great way that you get even more advantage from my channel and you help support this uh, this this process for me. Anyway, I hope you keep coming back and that you enjoy what you're seeing. Uh